Conversation in, but I was just wondering, did you did you guys, as the, as a New Zealand group, get enough out of that series? Do you think conditions here are similar enough for you to be able to value that as useful experience? Uh, it was definitely useful for us, no doubt about it. Um, when you come off not playing, I guess, cricket for, I think we're a couple of weeks, then getting the T20 team back together um, was good because our last series before that was West Indies. Um, so getting the World Cup squad together was, was good. We just had to manage, I think, our players through that. We had five games in seven days. It was a reasonably hectic period. And then with travel and a couple of warm-up games here as well made it, made it very busy. Um, so we've certainly managed, tried, or tried to manage our players through that period of time, but definitely uh, very worthwhile for us. And, and, and I know the players certainly enjoyed the Tri-Series sort of format as well. Um, Gary, just looking at what happened in that game between England and Ireland and knowing that there are showers forecast for Friday as well, does, that, does it give you some things to think about, I guess, in approaches to games and being careful that it can be easy to slip up if you get things slightly wrong? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the nature, I think, of T20 cricket is, is one or two players can change the game and one or two balls or one or two overs can change the game as well. Um, for us, what happens on Friday doesn't really have that much bearing on the way we go about things. We, we just still go take each match as it comes. We, we try and be clear with our planning, what we're trying to achieve out of the game, and uh, then go play the game and then move on very, very quickly to the next one. So after today, for example, we will, we will be doing our scouting for Sri Lanka tomorrow and, and then straight on with things. But I guess beyond that, specifically with the, the chance of rain shorten games do you have specific plans to go right okay in that kind of situation we're going to do this or if it's a five over game we're going to do this yeah we we, we certainly talked about that um tonight when it looked like there was the the chance of shortened games so kane and i had a discussion whether the team we were going to start with would continue to start um but until you actually get that that call from the umpires that it's going to be this period of time, um, we were still working on, even even at the start, that it might have been a 17 or an 18 over game, which wouldn't have changed too much for us then. And I guess just on Ireland beating England today, just your thoughts on Ireland as a team in, in having knocked over uh, one of the, the tournament favourites, I guess. Well, they're making a habit, I think, of doing it in the last, when you look at World tournaments, and um, it's certainly not the first win they've ha had over what I guess a major nation. Um, they're a dangerous team. We we went there recently and had a had a fantastic series against Ireland and, and ODIs and T20 cricket, and certainly today showed that there's there's no easy games and and you have to be on your game the whole time. So um, as I said earlier, I think it's great for world cricket. I, I think the more teams that can come and be com competitive um, probably gives hope to, to those that are still trying to get to the stage of where Ireland are at right now as well. Any more questions? Yeah, last one. Yeah, on just, just the, in such weather conditions, the playing conditions become a concern when you know that you might have to field a team for five, seven odd overs? Uh, look, I mean, the playing conditions, at the end of the day, it comes down to the umpire's interpretation of whether you it's fit to play or not. And I thought tonight was always on the marginal side. Um, it's great we're trying to play cricket, and that's what it's about to to entertain the fans and stuff as well. But I think it was um, it was definitely on the on the wet side out there, and, and actually around the perimeters, it was quite muddy in places too. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay.